welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i've got a bit of a fashion video for you i have kind of a haul but also like a what's new in my wardrobe because it's not just like one brand and it's things that i've been buying over the last couple of weeks three weeks or so so i've got a couple of boxes of new zara items which i haven't even opened yet so i'll show you what those bits are i've got a designer purchase I've also got some gorgeous loungewear, comfy, casual, leading us nicely into autumn. So yeah, if you wanna see what is new in my wardrobe, then make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink, get some snacks and just keep watching. A new accessory I've been loving, it's not even that new because I've used it before and shown you guys before, but my AirUp bottle, AirUp are very kindly sponsoring today's video. So I wanted to, show you what it is introduce it to you if you've never heard it before and also give you a little demo and explain why this has been an absolute favorite of mine recently because elephant in the room i have invisalign now which means when you've got your invisalign trays aligners in you can't drink or eat anything other than water. If you've had Invisalign, you will understand. And even if you're just not a water drinker, then like just a plain tap water drinker, then you're gonna love this. And even if you just wanna up your water intake, which was the main reason I first looked at Air Up like well over a year ago now, I find by using the Air Up bottle, my water intake dramatically increases therefore leading to better skin hair nails and hydration but anyway so this is my bottle this is the steel one which is the larger capacity as well it has got water in at the minute but just to fill it all you do is just unscrew this pop your water in there You've got the easy strap to carry and then if you take off this uh, lid here this is the 850 milliliters so i drink i try and drink at least two to three of these every single day and i like this because it is the steel one it keeps cold water cold for up to 14 hours and i love ice cold water you can also get it in black if you prefer not to have the silver and then you get these little pods on the top this is the virgin mojito one but i'll just show you it's due a switch out so to take it off you literally just take off the pod like so get your new pod ready i'm gonna go for cassis it's like a black currant flavor which is lovely and do the wrapper the range of different uh flavors that you get is incredible simply pop your pod your scented pod on so this is all good to go so as you can see it's down now but then so if you drink that now tap water but if you lift it to activate it that's activated now and then drink. It honestly gets me every time, especially each time I put a new flavor or a new pod on. It baffles me how it works. But essentially, all I'm intaking is the water inside this bottle, which is just good old tap water. No harsh chemicals, no calories, no sugar. And because of this scented pod, it makes making plain water much more fun by feeling like you are drinking flavored water. So although you're drinking the plain water, it's obviously more than just a water bottle. It does a lot more for you, helps you keep hydrated. And also if you're wanting to get back into a routine, especially this time of the year, as summer wraps up and people go back to school, get back into their routines, you wanna to look to build your healthy habits. And if water intake is something you want to increase, then I would recommend this greatly i will leave a link to air up down below in the description box for you to try out let me know which of the i think there's about 25 different flavored pods um let me know which is your favorite if you already have an air up bottle thank you so much to them for very kindly working with me on today's video now let's get into sharing with you the clothing items mmm delish i'll leave all oh no and I just broke my nail. It's not my nail though, it's the gel nail that's about to come off, which is annoying. Anyway, I'll leave all of these items linked in the description box for easy ease of shopping if you just want to have a look at anything. Some of them will be affiliate links, which just for clarity, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, this to you before, but I'm sure you're aware. But the links that I leave to you in the description box that are affiliate links, I earn a small percentage of, so I really, really appreciate by recommending an item to you, if you then go on to shop it, if you shop via that link, I get a couple of pennies towards the sale, towards the purchase. It doesn't affect the price you pay, obviously, but um, it just helps me 
track and show which which items that you guys like to shop and like to see have the first time okay this is this is my designer purchase and it's been a while since i've bought anything designer i got this one from harvey nicks but thought i would invest in a belt so we all know i like a bargain i like value for money and that kind of thing and i feel like this is that so it is loewe which is a gorgeous brand nice and simple very understated i feel like it's quite a classy brand that is quite timeless which is great for me because i want something if i'm going to be buying designer i want it to last so yeah i have purchased not only just a belt got the branding on so you can see the logo if you like to show that you're wearing a branded item but again if designer doesn't really mean that much to you and it's about the quality that you like then I feel like this is great so it comes with a little drawstring bag for protection to keep that in there I'm gonna actually peel off oh shine it on camera this bit of ASMR peel off the protective film oh, so yeah value for money this is what I'm talking about because it is reversible. So it's two belts in one. We've got a black belt and we've got a brown belt. I only tend to wear high-waisted items now, so I feel like I'm only ever gonna wear a belt that I wear for around my waist. Like whether it be a dress, whether it be trousers or whatever that need belting, this size will fit me regardless. And I have both a brown and a black belt in one. And it's not too like, stand out -y. that the buckle itself is i feel like quite understated quite simple it's not too it's not going to take away from the item of clothing that i'm wearing if i just want it to be quite you know discreet but anyway so this is the belt you essentially loop it through and just it's quite similar to one that i bought for tom one of our first ever gifts okay this is a size 10 and if i'm wearing it on my smallest part of my waist it's actually done up on the tightest buckle so i would say stay true to size and then you simply just remove the buckle switch over i'll show you how and do that buckle part there take it off reverse the belt put it back in and then you have the black belt version so yeah super easy to do there you go you get the idea this shirt that i'm wearing is just primark by the way if anyone's interested just a plain blue oxford shirt but anyway this is my latest designer purchase let me know what you think i just feel like i don't have any decent belts my belts just come and go and i just thought it was time to invest in one and literally i can't see myself needing another belt now now that i have this so this will just yeah last me forever anyway i've rambled on and on about that purchase so let's just move on shall we right I'll, I'll actually save the zara items i'll show you the other bits that i've got so i've got some loungewear i've got one set from free people it's actually part of their beach range i definitely i could see what no i can't i don't know why i would ever wear this on the beach if i'm being honest with you this for me is a lounging cozy lounging around the house day I mean, I work from home as well. So for me personally, working at home all day, every day, I like to be comfy. And if I just want to feel a bit more elevated, I'm not just going to lounge and stop around in pajamas. I need to be motivated to get work done throughout the day. So I will put fresh, even if it's just lounge, wear a fresh set on and feel nice. And this is exactly that. So it's also great because it is three items in one. It's very versatile, mix and match. The top itself, even just alone with like some jeans in summer, you could again just wear the top with the cardigan thrown over with some jeans as well. The trousers could be worn just with like a basic white tee. So really, really like versatile set that one. Next up, I put an order in with Adenola. It's the first time I think that I've ordered. Yeah, I got a couple of bits for my birthday um back in january that's the first time i've ever shopped i don't know before and it is fab i always have a quick look when i go around selfridges there's a little section in our selfridges at the traffic center and yeah anyway i put in a little order for a couple of sets and also i got some of their um ankle socks now i'm not gonna lie these i got for my birthday and they've got holes in them already which is a bit annoying but i like them that much that I've still repurchased and also socks when you wear them that much they probably could do with 
a refresh every once in a while. So they've lasted six months. Anyway, I picked up two pairs this time though. I went for the same color as last time, the gray mile. And I also picked up the white. So the first set that I picked up is this set of like joggers and sweatshirt. They've quite often got interchangeable like t-shirts and hoodies and obviously, yeah, depending on what you want. But I decided to get the jogging bottoms and the sweatshirt. I love this. This is like one of their recent launches, isn't it? Just the ADA, super soft, quite thick. So I feel like it's gonna last throughout autumn and winter as well, this one. Um, oversized sweatshirt. I did size up to an XL because I watched a few videos of people doing Adenola hauls and similar sizes to me, similar like people similar sized to me or even smaller and they were getting an XL for an oversized fit. So I am glad I sized up on the sweatshirt. However, I also sized up on the bottoms. Okay, no, it's the other set I got large. These ones I got a medium and even the medium are quite big on me. So I would say I will still stick with the medium. I won't exchange them, but um, just bear in mind that the joggers do come up quite big anyway. So there's no need to size up for like an oversized comfy fit. I have had to roll up the bottoms, which I don't mind. I quite like the look of a rolled up bottom anyway. Then the other set that I got is a bit more plain, less of a statement logo. And um, just, I love the color of this. It's like gorgeous khaki color. Love wearing green anyway, but olive they call it, olive color. Um, oversized sweatshirt, again, I got in the XL and the branding on this one is literally just like some embroidered stitching there. And then same for the bottoms, just on the left-hand side there, just below the pocket, it's got the Adenola as well. But these are the ones that I picked up in a large. <sighs> I don't know whether to look on like, it's, it's, there's not that much in it, but they are oversized. And I feel like if I'm wearing these for comfort, am I really gonna want to go down to a small? I might just stick with the large and just wear these, probably less so out and about and more just at home, working from home for the day, where I want to be super comfy or even like going to the cinema or something like that. Just a bit more casual, nice matching set but so so comfy sorry to just randomly cut into the video like this guys but i also just received these which arrived just after filming the video so i thought i would include these as another new in my wardrobe because these are like hot commodity right now the ultra minis ahead of autumn i feel like people are getting their hands on these super early this year before they sell out like they did last year um so i got another color i got the color sand which are honestly like the perfect neutral shade, I think. The color that I had last year, Antelope, gorgeous. They have also brought out a new khaki color, which I'm very tempted for, because honestly, guys, I lived in these last year and got quite a lot of wear out of them. So anyway, this is the sand color. I size up to a seven. I'm usually like a six to a six and a half. But these in particular, because of the shape of them, they're actually quite hard to get on. So I would recommend sizing up um, in comparison to like the other UGG lengths. But the Ultra Minis, I would say if you're in between sizes, go for the bigger one. Uh, but yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous new purchase. Had to mention it to you. I will, of course, leave these linked, but I would recommend you be quick to avoid missing out on those ones because I know they are super, super popular. Okay, now time to get into the Zara boxes. I'm gonna start with this one. So there's no order to this. It's just a few bits that I picked up. I think a lot of these, some of these were sale prices. So again, I'll leave links to everything below, but I'm pretty sure a lot of these were like mega bargains and then a couple of new bits as well. I feel like with Zara, especially their sale, because they t do it in tiers, if I tell you the price I paid, it's probably even cheaper now anyway. I'll just leave links to everything for you down below. Oh, I got, I think I got this in two colors. This is gorgeous. Okay, again, more elevated loungewear. I've had a huge wardrobe clear out recently and just got rid of about seven or eight big bin bags full of clothes. And a lot of them were like old sweatshirts that have gone a bit bobbly or like misshapen around the neck. So. Hence the need for more loungewear, seeing as though I do live in it all day, every day. And I thought a quarter zip like this would be lovely to wear with leggings, my little Adenola socks, some 
trainers i just love i know a lot of people think that's like a lazy outfit but i actually love that look got this in a large it says 29.99 that's actually a really nice color and this looks to be the same but in like a charcoal gray oh, i love both of these really like these did I get that? That's an extra large, that one. And they're so soft as well. I like, I'm just looking in the mirror. I like the bottom of them, how they're not super tight. Oh, they've given me a little sample. Perfume, should we test it out? I love their perfumes. Memorable Aura. I wonder which one this is duping, because we all know they like to dupe their perfume brands with designers. A bright, in fact, I've not put any perfume on today. A bright bouquet tinted with colorful juiciness of mango for a pure explosion of joy. right my nose oh that is nice it's yeah it's very very fruity quite feminine i'm so used to not feminine scents and let's show you this now this is called the julia linen shirt in a medium and it's like a oh i don't know about this i feel like are there matching bottoms to this yeah there are you can see them i feel like as a set yeah this would be lovely be really nice very summery <laughs> need a summer holiday um the julia linen bermuda shorts i got in the medium they're like a kind of mustard color creamy mustard kind of color i want to see if there are other colors to this so I, the color's throwing me because it's like is it mustard it's more like a washed lemon like a dull down lemon i'm trying to get my head around the color let me know what you think. Couple of basics here in both black and white. They feel um, like super stretchy. Yeah, they are. I got them in a medium though, but I, I probably could have got away with a small. But anyway, they're these little one shoulder ribbed. If I come in closer, you'll be able to see the texture. They're like a ribbed cotton, little crop top. Cute, right? Just a good basic to go with like wide leg trousers in an evening or kept casual with like even shorts just during the summer. But yeah, really nice. I got another pair of shorts, this time in a medium. These are like a thicker fabric. I feel like wearing these during the day in summer when the sun's shining, um, it, it'd be like a smarter look with maybe that little white one shoulder top or the black one and some like my Chloe sandals or something in a basket bag for in summer. I also got, again, sticking with the basics comfy clothes. I got this sweatshirt, it's just a plain black one oversized in a large. And again, just looking at the mirror, it's quite long and not cut in at the bottom. So nice to be able to wear with leggings. This is just like a Sunday cooking the roast dinner whilst it's thunderstorming outside we've got a movie on in the background dogs curled up asleep in the bed after a nice long walk and i've got home got showered got into some fresh comfies i did get a pair well i think a couple of pairs of shoes actually these ones are i love how when you buy the shoes online they always come with a zara dust bag uh, but yeah these are like rubber flip-flops but in a really nice stone color that i just thought was so simple and neutral Comfy flip-flops. Oh, nice. Yeah, these are really nice. So I sized up to a seven in these. Airfit Extra Comfort Technical Insole Foam, which is what I like to see because I feel like with heels, oh yeah, these look really comfy. With heels, because I'm not used to wearing them, like the weight and the pressure on the balls of your feet, if, there's, if they're just completely flat and rock solid, that's what makes them ache. But these have like a cushioned part. How nice are they? Just plain and simple. I, th I thought I could do with like a plain, simple black strappy heel, sandal heel. These have like a squared off toe. Nice, manageable height. I'm into the second box, guys. Next up, I've got a set, two-piece set, which obviously, again, with colds, I love the fact that you can mix and match them. And the bottoms, I've got in a medium. They are 100% linen. Wow, they feel really soft for a linen. You know, sometimes linens can be a bit scratchy or a bit... I don't know, just not soft. These are super soft. So these look like they might be a little big for me, but the drawstring, obviously you can cinch them in, but it's basically a wide leg trouser, a beautiful kind of like 
greeny colour. And then it comes with, well it doesn't come with, but you can buy the matching waistcoat. And I love a waistcoat. I feel like it just makes an outfit look really smart. But you're quite cool because you've got your arms out. You know, so in the summer. In a medium I got this one. I wonder if they do other colours actually because this is a really nice set. So it comes with the belt. Obviously you could pick your own belt. Your Loewe reversible one. You could just wear the waistcoat with like a nice basic white tee underneath, white vest, some shorts even. Just simply pair the trousers again with basic white tee and some chunky trainers for a nice casual day look. Okay, we're leading into the season that is cosy jumpers. Just picture it. Pumpkin spice latte in hand. Fresh from the Starbucks drive through because it's raining outside so we didn't want to get out and go into the shop. Your chunky boots on with your leggings. The leaves falling off the trees, the brown leaves on the floor. You're getting home, you light all your candles. I mean, it's just a jumper, but that's what this jumper means to me. I feel like I, um, in my clear out, realized that I didn't really have much knitwear and I feel like this is gonna be a good staple. For me, I feel like autumn comes around when it is cozy and you really want that thick, cozy, comfy, soft, because there are a lot of jumpers out there that are not soft. At that time of the year, I just never seem to find any. So I thought I'd get in there early with this one and I feel like I'm grateful I did. Love it. And I love the thick kind of um, ribbed cuff and bottom as well. Again, nice and long to be able to wear with leggings and boots. Pub, country pub in front of the cozy fire. Oh, best time of the year ever. Right, this is a bit different for me. I don't know how I feel about this. It's kind of like a utility jacket type thing. Again, it was a bit of a bargain, so I decided to pick it up. I got it in, okay, they do either extra small to small or medium to large. And with these pieces from Zara in those two sizes, in the past I've made the mistake of getting the medium to large and then being super oversized, can't wear them, have to send them back. So I did go for the extra small to small, and I'm glad I did, because it is already, like I said, it is already oversized, kind of military sand, kind of khaki, not khaki, but you know how like, the military sand khaki, like desert, I mean, I don't know if this is just my military upbringing coming out of me, but like in the army, when they wear like the khaki green, but then they also have the desert colors, which are more of the sand khaki. You know, got a little Zara home package in here as well. Oh yeah, I forgot I got that. So I knew I got some slippers, which again come in the drawstring bags. I actually prefer the Zara home ones because they are like a linen, the little Zara home logo on the bottom. And I got these. Okay. You scared me to death. Anyway, Tom's just got home been to Gail's for a meeting, not brought me back lunch like he said he would, because apparently he's been calling me, my phone's been sat there on silent because I'm filming, lesson learnt, anyway, uh, yeah, let me show you the slippers, they're basically kind of like a crisscrossover white company style slippers, I actually am going to send these back because in person they're much more of like a purpley colour, and also I don't like the fact that this bit on the edge is quite thick. But I mean, if you like them, I'll still leave them linked. But yeah, this is the item that I forgot I got. I got something for Barney from their pet range. I got him a little chew toy, little tug of war rope toy. His um, rope toy that he's got is like a semi, not a semicircle, a circular one. It's all come apart now and he's actually taken it outside so it's become an outside toy. So I thought I could do with replacing his rope toy. We'll give that to him in a second but that guys is everything that i picked up from uh the shops recently that i thought i would show you i thought i would just do a nice chunky haul as we're leading into autumn hopefully some of these things inspire you to treat yourself to some new bits in your wardrobe too i will leave everything linked for you if you do want to shop any of these items yourself thank you once again to air up for very kindly working with me on today's video and don't forget to check them out via the link that i will leave at the top of the description box for you and yeah again let me know which is your favorite flavors which flavors you 
um, tend to go for if you've already got Air Up or which ones are you most excited to try out if you've never tried it before. Thank you to them. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.